Andreas, thank you for joining us at Cambridge Institute of Public Health. Please can you introduce yourself? My name is Dr. Andreas Roman Restorasu and I'm the current Gillings Fellow in Global Public Health and Autism Research based at the Institute of Public Health and the Autism Research Centre in the Department of Psychiatry. And can you tell us a little bit about what the Gillings um, Fellowship is and how you were selected for it? The Gillings Fellowship is a, it's a unique fellowship in the sense that it has three strands. Um, those strands are uh, research excellence, with, uh, which articulates the two other uh, areas, um, entrepreneurship and management skills, together with a, with a leadership program. Um, we're lucky enough to have um, the research um, focus based in the Autism Research Centre, which is an international well-known centre for autism research, but also to collaborate with uh, the Judge Business School here in Cambridge and the Institute Louis Pasteur um, together with, uh, with the Master of University for the leadership uh, program. So in a way it's a collaboration between uh, various different actors that, that have uh, all of them diverse uh, specialties and skill sets contributing to producing a very unique um, uh, fellowship in terms both of the scope that it has, the, 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 the broad areas that it tries to cover, but also the intensity of what is expected for you uh, during the three years that the fellowship lasts. And how are you selected for the fellowship? The fellowship um, is an open call uh, fellowship. That means that uh, anyone can apply. When I first came across the possibility of something that was uh, of this nature, I was very excited because I always felt um, that I was missing out on other opportunities in, in, in the sense that me as a psychiatrist that has experience in health economics and is interested in health policy, but also management and impact in policy, um, always struggle to find something that um, congregated all these different research interests into a single um, into a single program. This fellowship provides you with the flexibility to include any research interest that you have and a personal development area, together with a very strong focus on research outcomes, which is very unique. Um, so I applied and the, the, the process has been since I was selected for the last 16 months absolutely uh, incredible. Uh, I, I, I recommend anyone which feels uh, constrained by the current restrictions that a lot of fellowships um, impose to, to apply. Thank you. Um, and what's the subject of your research? Um, I'm a psychiatrist so I'm very interested in um, in a neurodevelopmental disorder, specifically autism, um, and also how socioeconomic determinants might affect uh, the expression of certain clinical outcomes. Um, I'm currently working on five different projects. Um, one of them is um, linking um, prevalence of autism across the UK with um, STEM um, professions. Um, the other one is a household expenditure questionnaire in China in which we're looking at the economic impact of having a child with autism for Chinese households. Um, the other one is an EU um, autism uh, policy uh, mapping. Uh, we've so far include, have included four different countries, it's France, uh, Poland, uh, the UK and Spain um, into this exercise and we plan to include all 28 member states in which we see how education differs and, and is similar in some cases across different countries and what gaps there are for children with autism to access education. We're also doing a prospective early detection study in Chile in which we're trying to implement an early det detection strategy um, in, uh, in a middle-income country in Latin America um, and so far we've had a great response rate with um, in the first month uh, 100 participants out of a planned 600 that we were thinking of, of recruiting. And the last one is um, we're looking at um, autism spectrum conditions and how uh, the genetics uh, and the expression of, cert of phenotype, genetic phenotypes might be uh, mediated through socioeconomic determinants and, uh, and how that might be uh, a very interesting uh, resilient factor that might uh, be expressed in people with high genetic risk actually having um, uh, you know, clinical outcomes not as severe as one would expect and that's been done with the Institute Louis Pasteur and Thomas Bergeron. Great, thank you. Um, and finally, can you tell us a little bit about the specific opportunities and benefits that you mm -hmm. feel the fellowship has given you? 
I think the fellowship is, um, it, it, as I said, it, it is an absolutely incredible experience. Um, being able to mix uh, such a broad a range of uh, different skills and, and sets of um, of, uh, of development areas into a single program is something that is absolutely fascinating for young researchers. The goal of the fellowship is to produce the new leaders in global public health and specifically in autism research. So it's very ambitious also in, in, its, in its scope. I think I will definitely recommend young researchers to consider uh, the impact and the policy impact that um, that the research has, and I think the Gillings Fellowship is a great opportunity for them to do so. Thank you.